And just before I went out to the trial to, uh, of, the, of this man that, who killed my daughter, um, the, night the, day, the night before, I met Tina Brown. And she was not this glamorous Tina Brown who she, who be she became. She was this little English wren and so How forth. Did you meet her? What was the she, I went to Marie Brenner, a journalist friend of mine, mm -hmm. to her house on a Sunday night, Tex-Mex in the kitchen, and I sat next to this little English lady, girl, young woman, yeah. and we just had this wonderful talk. And the, I didn't think anything about it. I didn't know who she was. And uh, she was just nice. We had a terrific time. And the next day, she called me to have lunch with her, and I said, oh, God, I can't. I, I'm leaving in the 6 o'clock for California. She said, please, and I had lunch with her. And she said to me, you know, you shouldn't waste all those Hollywood stories at somebody's dinner party. She said, you should be writing for a magazine. And I said, a magazine? I said, I just wrote this book, and it just got bombed and thing and made fun of in the New York Times. And, uh, and she said, it would take me years. She said, you know everybody. It would take me years to train somebody. And she said, keep a journal at this trial. And when it's over, you come and see me. And I did. And I went to see her. And that was my first article called Justice, which was in her first issue as the full editor, you know, not carrying over the stuff from the previous editor. And a week before the issue came out in the stands, she took me out to lunch again. And she said, next week, when this article hits the stands, Every magazine in New York's going to give you, offer you a job. And she said, but you're mine. And nobody had wanted me for so long. I said, I want to be yours, you know. And that was the beginning of our extraordinary teaming up. I mean, she, I owe so much to Tina Brown.